It doesn't matter if you're a beginner or experienced ice skater. Everybody can improve his skating skills. Hey guys, I'm Patrick from Alpine Ice Freestyle and today I will make you a better ice skater. Right after the intro. To be honest, this just works if you really want it. If you force yourself to give your absolute best, just doing it effortless won't work here. Do this 10 minutes every time when you go on the ice and you don't just have a nice warm up, you will also feel the effect faster than you think. And I will feel your subscriptions faster than you think, so make sure you subscribe to this channel and activate the notifications. Training number one, the interchange. My favorite training course, but it takes a few minutes to understand it. I love to take the five bully points in the middle of a hockey pitch. If you don't have them, just mark a four point square with whatever you have in the same size and set another point in the middle. Now I show you the course and how you do it. To explain it easy, if you do a turn in the middle to the right, then you always have to turn left at the outside. Start into the course to the middle point and connect all four points with the middle point. You need four runs for that. Forwards in the middle right and in the outside left. Forwards in the middle left and in the outside right. Backwards in the middle right and in the outside left. And backwards in the middle left and in the outside right. Got it? I really hope so because this is a very effective edge control training and will increase everybody's skills if he takes the runs serious. How big the basic square is depends on you. Sometimes, just for fun, I build it up on a square meter. Very hard, but effective. And now for your understanding, I will show you a full run out of the drone perspective so you completely understand how the course works. As you can see, I start right into the middle where I do a turn to the right side and then on the outside cone I do a turn to the left side, back to the middle. Important here to match all the cones and the perfect shape of the interchange, you are doing a little bit more than a 180 degree turn on the outside cones and just a 90 degree turn at the inside cone, so you match up perfectly your way to the next cone. I hope this is understandable, but I guess in this perspective you will get it. The course is completed when you got all four outside cones combined with four times the inside cone and then you are back at the position where you started outside the course. Training number two, three line breaks. On a hockey pitch I would say blue, blue, red. If you don't have a hockey pitch then mark your own lines or mark three points. However, you start in the middle line or in the red line to your right. Go to your right, blue line or outside line, do a hockey stop. Then from this line you go back to the other outside line or blue line do another hockey stop. Then you go back to the middle, the red line, hockey stop. Again to the left side, the blue line, hockey stop. Then to the right blue line and so on. So the system is pretty easy. Blue, blue, red. Blue, blue, red. You always hit the lines with a hockey stop in this combination. Blue, blue, red. As the name says. And of course you have to do that with speed. If you want a competition, the first one to hit five center lines is the winner. What is really important here is that at the breaks, your upper body is always facing the same side. Here, for example, I'm always looking to the camera. It doesn't matter which side you are facing at. It's just important that you keep this direction. So you have to do breaks to both sides. What will make you at least a safer skater because everybody can skate, but not everybody can control his skating with effective breaks on both sides body sides. Training number three, the infinity eight or the big eight or however you want to call it. Take two bully circles or just take as much space as necessary and mark two circles for this drill. You have to do crossovers in the turns so it should not be too tight here. And then just follow this course in the shape of a big eight. Let's say one minute forwards and one minute backwards. And of course do it with speed again. Doing it slow and bored won't help you. 
By the way, if you can't do backwards crossovers or if you even can't skate backwards, you'll find a tutorial for that in the info button or now in the description. By the way, same with the hockey stop. I hope those free drills will make you a safer skater as they already made a lot of my trainees. More tutorials are just waiting for you in the end card or on my channel. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss anything in the future. More tutorials are about to come. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and my merch is hidden in the link below if you want that. That's it for today, guys. See ya!